Pop quiz, Commander. You want to engineer your FSD to grade 5 increase range with the Mass Manager experimental effect. Or overcharge those multi-cannons. So what materials do you need? And how many of them do you need? And which engineer should you go to? All these answers are at your fingertips with one app, so let's get to it. Odyssey Materials Helper is a super useful and amazingly feature-packed utility that helps you track your materials, plan your upgrades, and figure out where to find the stuff you're missing. So first, you need to get the app. So download the installer from GitHub at the link down in the description, and then just run it to install. Alright, so let's say you want to do some engineering on your ship. Click the Ships tab on the left. Now the relevant middle tabs will be shown. Materials, commodities, engineers, and so on. So first, if you're looking to unlock a new engineer, click on the Engineers tab. This will bring up a list of all the engineers and everything you could ever want to know about them. So let's take a look. First is your unlock status. So we can see that I have unlocked Elvira Martuk, and I'm at grade 5 level of reputation with her, having done several upgrades with her already. As for Mel Brandon, the envelope icon indicates that I have gained access to him, but I still need to complete the initial contract. So if we look down here, we'll see the details under Unlock Prerequisites. So I've learned about him by reaching level 3 with Elvira, and gain access to him by getting an invitation from the Colonia Council, but I still need to provide 100,000 credits worth of bounty vouchers in order to start using his services. On the other hand, let's take a look at Zachariah Nemo. So, just like Mel Brandon, I've learned about him from Elvira, but I don't yet have access to his shop yet. Also listed for each engineer is where they're located and how far away from your current location they are. And perhaps more importantly, what upgrades they can provide. So again, using Elvira Martuk as an example, I can currently get grade 5 FSD upgrades from her, as well as grade 2 thrusters, grade 3 shield generators, and grade 1 shield cell banks. Cool. Now, you'll also note that all of these fields are actually links, so if you click on the engineer's name, It'll bring up the full description and all info for that engineer on the left-hand panel. That includes any materials needed to unlock them. So for Elvira, it shows that you need three Suntil relics, and if you hover your mouse over that, it'll bring up the info on the relic, including where to get them. Pretty nifty. Now, back in the other panel, you can click on the engineer's location, and it'll copy the system name to your clipboard, so that you can paste it in the search bar of the galaxy map and plot a course. Oh, and by the way, speaking of location, if you see a little C with a circle around it, that doesn't mean that the engineer's name is copyrighted, it means that they're located in Colonia, hence the 22,000 light year distance. And lastly, you can also click on any of the available upgrades, and it'll open the information on that upgrade in the left-hand panel. More on that in just a bit. So, that's the Engineers tab. And, oh look, it's our old friend Professor Palin. pompous jackass. Okay, so now you have all the info on the engineers. Let's get to the upgrades. Back on the left side, you'll see sections for each of the four upgradable areas of your ship. Hardpoints, utility mounts, core internals, and optional internals. So, let's say you wanted to upgrade your frameshift drive to the increased range grade 5. Well, the FSD is under core internals, so select that. Then select frameshift drive then select the increased FSD range upgrade. Here it will show you all the information and requirements for the upgrade. First, the description and the actual modifiers that the upgrade makes. Then it shows you which materials are needed, along with how many of them you currently have. So in this case, for grade one, I would need one to five atypical disrupted wake echoes. And I currently have 50 available, so I'm good there. Now, why is it saying I would need one to five of them? Why the range? Well, right below, you'll see which engineers can perform this upgrade. Next to each engineer, it shows the reputation I have with that engineer. So, if I go to Elvira Martuk, Felicity Farseer, or ugh, Professor Palin, I have a grade 5 reputation with all of them. So, to do the grade 1 upgrade would only require one of those materials. However, if I decided to do the upgrade at one of the other engineers where I don't have any previous experience or reputation, it would take five wake echoes. So, along the top of the panel, you'll see a tab for each of the grades. So if you click through those, you'll see the relevant information for each grade. 
Now we wanted increased range grade five, right? So let's add everything we need to our shopping list. Click on add to wish list and you'll see a little drop down with two options. You can either just add this selected grade to the wish list or add all grades to the wish list. In this case, let's assume you're starting with a bone stock FSD and need all five grades. So select add all grades to the default wish list. Now you'll see it switched over to the wish list tab with all the materials needed for grades one through five of increased FSD range. So again, you'll see how many of each material are needed and how many you currently have. And also conveniently, who is the closest engineer to your current position to get that upgrade? In this case, good old Felicity. Now, if you wanna see just the materials you still need to get, go up here and click on hide completed. Now it'll only show those materials that you don't have enough of yet to complete all five grades. Now, suppose you actually have grades one and two already completed and you just need three, four, and five. So first let's uncheck hide completed and see the little arrow here next to the increased FSD range upgrade? If you click on that, it'll show sliders for how much of each grade that you still need to complete. So if you already have 100% of grades one and two, slide those sliders all the way down and it'll take off those materials from the requirements. You'll also see the upgrade has changed to only grades three, four, and five now. So now let's say you're setting up your new Mandalay for the highest jump range possible. So you want to add the mass manager experimental effect. So go back over to the left hand panel and click on experimental effects. In the drop down, pick mass manager and just like the upgrades, it'll show you all the info for that effect, including the materials needed, the engineers who can perform that modification and the modifiers that that experimental effect will add. So let's add it to our wish list. Click on add to wish list and there it is. So now there's everything you need for grades three, four and five of increased range along with the Mass Manager experimental effect, all in one place. And of course, you can add anything else you'd like to your wish list as well. Suppose you also wanted to overcharge your beam lasers. Just go over to hard points, select beam lasers, and then the overcharge weapon upgrade. Check out the info, and then go ahead and add it to your wish list. And there it is. And now there's a comprehensive list of everything you need for all three upgrades. If you only wanna show the materials that you still need to get, just click on hide completed again, and there it is. And one last point, if you want to remove an upgrade from your wish list, just go click on the X next to the name, and there you have it. All the requirements for the overcharged beam lasers are now removed. Okay, great. So now you have the list of materials you need, but how do you get those materials? Well, let's find out. So I'll just hover over the chemical manipulators here and there's the closest materials trader to trade for it and possible trades I can make with the materials that I do have. Or failing that, here are some other locations to obtain them. And oh look, it's hot Jupiter. Wow, that takes me back. In addition to planning your upgrades, if you'd just like to see what materials and commodities you currently have, just click on those tabs in the middle and there they are. One of the things I like about the materials tab is that it shows you the closest materials trader for each material type. So as we just saw, if there are some materials you need for an upgrade, you can see the nearest trader to trade for them. So rounding out the remaining sections, and I won't go into these in great detail, but there's also a ship editor where you can plan out your build. I'm still kind of old school and still use Etsy online for that. But if you'd like a one-stop shop, here you go. There's also a power play tab that shows all the info for each power and your status with each. So we can see here that I'm pledged to Pranav Antal with a rank of 103, and here are the rewards I'm getting for that, as well as the power modules that I've unlocked. Now, I didn't cover the on foot tab over here, but it works about the same as the ships tab. Once in that section, you can select an upgrade that you're looking for, see all the info for it, and then add it to your wish list to plan out what you need to get. And lastly, let's talk about one item in the settings tab. So here you'll see the register option. Now, don't worry, this isn't one of those, you have to make a new account to use this app type of thing. This just allows the app to sync to your Frontier account. So if you hit register application here, then go down to the Frontier API integration section, you can then click on the connect commander button to log into Frontier 
and then the app can pull in your inventory from your fleet carrier as well. And this is all optional, by the way. As long as you're running the app on the same computer that you're running Elite on, it'll just use Elite's journal file on your file system to get to your materials inventory. So no worry there. And that about does it for this episode, Commanders. If you found this useful, a like, a subscribe, and a share would be greatly appreciated. And as always, fly dangerously, Commanders. I'll see you next time.